over by the desert, and you'll see during our play how it got its name. This skit is taking place in Montclair, New Jersey, home of Mr. and Mrs. Gilbreth and their 12 children. Mr. Gilbreth was a factory inspector and went around explaining how to run factories more efficiently. He was the kind of person who is always on a schedule. He was a very strong person, but he cared for his children. Mrs. Gilbreth was a psychologist and the type of person who is understanding and always there for her children. And Anne, who is the oldest of 12 children, was expected to watch after her siblings. Mr. Gilbreth liked the skits he staged once or twice a year in the parlor for his and mother's benefit. The skits originally written by Anne and Ernestine never varied much, so we could give them without rehearsal. Dad liked the skits. Dad liked the imitations of him and, him and mother best. I'm Mr. Gilbert. I'll play Ernestine and I'll play Anne. I play Bill, Jack, and Fred. I play the reporter and Martha. I play Lil and the real mother. I play the real father. <laughs> I play the narrator and the chairman at the auditorium. I'm the prompter. Christmas! Look what followed you in! Are those your children, or is it a picnic? They're my children, and there was no picnic. How do you like my little leprechauns? Leprechauns come cheaper by the dozen, you know. Do you think I should keep them all? I think you should keep them all home. Tell them to stop climbing over my machinery. They won't get hurt. They're all trained engineers. I trained them myself. Look at the little leprechauns st squatting over my bus stop. I can't watch them. Don't let them squat any lower. Tell them to stop squatting. The little rascal thinks it's a bicycle. We can go lower. Children have to learn by doing. Ah! I lose more children in factories. Now the rest of you keep away from the bus saw, you hear me? So we'll make a note of that, so we can tell how many places to set for supper. Freddy boy, I want you to take your fingers out of your mouth and then explain to the superintendent what's efficient about the drill press. That thing, the drill press? Ha! Huh. Precisely explain to him in simple language. The position of the hand lever is such that there is both in motion ways both after transfer loaded and transfer empty. The work plan of the operator is at the 50 game level and etc. Et et <coughs> we missed one part, the attendance check at the beginning. Sometimes we may believe we were an auditorium platform at an engineering meeting at which Dad was to speak and played the chairman who was introducing him. Our next guest is Frank Bunker Gilbert. Wait a minute now, please take your seats. Don't be frightened. He's promised this time to limit himself to two hours, and not to mention the one best way to do work more than twice in the same sentence. For the purpose of convenience, I have divided my talk tonight into 30 main headings and 117 subheadings. I will commence with the first main heading, the machine. Our next guest is Dr. Lillian Mahler Gilbert. She will not make a speech, but will gladly answer any questions. Hello, Grace. I like you. Hat. What do you mean? You bombed your hair. Hello, Charles. So glad you could be here. Tell us, Mrs. Gilbert, do you really want such a large family? And if so, why? Any other questions? Who really wears the pants in your household, Mrs. Gilbert? You or your husband? Any other questions? One more thing, Mrs. Gilbert. Do leprechauns really come cheaper by the dozen? Does you know how to get the water in the watermelon? No. no. How do you get, get the, the water in the watermelon? Well, you plant them in the spring. Yak, 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 yak. <laughs> and does you know Isabel? Isabel? Yes. Isabel necessary on a bicycle? Yak, yak, yak. <laughs> and does you know the difference between an apple and a pretty girl? No. Well, when you squeeze, you get cider, and the other you get cider to squeeze. Yak, 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 yak. <laughs> 
way past your bedtime. Doesn't anybody listen to the rules that I make? You older children should have been in bed an hour ago, and you younger children three hours ago. Go to bed. <laughs> My throat is hoarse as a frost. The only thing that could soothe it is a nice, sweet chocolate ice cream soda with whipped cream. Mmm. Pick us, Daddy. Our frogs are as hoarse as frogs, too. We couldn't sleep awake either. You see, when it comes to ice cream sodas, you're up and ready to go. When it comes to going to bed, you're as slow as molasses. What do you say, boss? Did you say molasses, Mr. Bones? Molasses? Well, I haven't had no molasses. Get your coats on, children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirteen sodas at fifteen cents apiece. I can see the writing on the wall, over the hill to the poorhouse. Well, on the book we read, Cheaper by the Desert, you will see during our play how it got its name. This skit is taking place in Montclair, New Jersey, home of Mr. and Mrs. Gilbreth and their 12 children. Mr. Gilbreth was a factory inspector and he went around explaining how to run factories more efficiently. He was the kind of person who was always on a schedule. He was a very strong person, but he cared for his children. Mrs. Gilbert was a psychologist and the type of person who was understanding and always there for her for children. And Anne, who was the oldest of 12 children, was expected to watch after her siblings. I'm Mr. Gilbert. I'll play Ernest Stein, who will be the fake mother. I play Anne. I play Will and the real mother. I play Bill, Jack, and Fred in the family. I play the reporter and Martha. I play the narrator and the chairman at the auditorium. I play the real father. I'm the prompter. Is everybody here? Anne? Yes. Finderstein? Yes. Martha? Yes. Frank? Yes. Bill? Yes. Dan? Yes. Robert? Yes. Fred? Yes. Jack? Yes. <coughs> Jane? Yes. Will? Yes. If, is everybody dry? Yes. yes. Do you all have your notebooks? Yes. yes. Well then, follow us. Christmas! Look what followed you in! Are those your children, or is it a picnic? They were my children, and it was no picnic. How do you like my little leprechauns? Leprechauns come cheap by the dozen, you know? Do you think I should keep them all? I think you should keep them all home. Tell them to stop climbing over my machinery. They won't get hurt. They're all trained engineers. I trained them myself. Look at that little leprechaun <coughs> squatting over my bathtub. Tell, I can't watch them. Tell them to stop squatting. Don't let them squat any lower. The little rascal thinks it's a bicycle. Leave them alone. Children have to learn by doing. <coughs> I lose more children in factories. Now the rest of you keep away from that bus, you hear me? Someone make a note of that so we can tell how many places to set for supper. Freddy boy, I want you to take your fingers out of your mouth and then explain to the superintendent what's efficient about the drill press. That thing, a drill press? Ha! Huh. Precisely explain to him in simple language. The position of the hand lever, it's such that there is waste motion both after transport loading and transport output. The work plane of the operator is at the 58 level. Good to Yeah, okay. Alright, we'll get some shots of the feet.